Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Juice Motor Parts tutorial. Glad to be back with you guys after um, quite some time. This is one of my first videos back. So I've been getting a lot of comments and questions uh, <clears throat> regarding uh, something you know, fairly important, and that is the M8 studs that are located on the um, uh, that that kind of fasten your top and bottom half of your engine, your top end and your bottom end. These M8 studs are responsible for basically keeping the head and the jug of the cylinder snugly onto the base. Um, they're basically responsible for maintaining that uh, that the compression between all, all of the mated parts. So, with these motorized bicycle engines, they come in two different varieties, two different flavors rather. <clears throat> the first flavor is um, that I'll start with is the M8. Uh, by 120 millimeter pitch. Now the pitch is basically the distance in between each thread. Now what that means is from, let's start with this one. Uh, what I have here is an example of an M8 by 120 millimeter thread uh, pitch. Sorry. So basically between each and every one of these little threads is a distance of approximately 1.25. Um, you can measure it, you know, of course, using you know your digital caliper. You know you just kind of measure distance between these two threads, between a between a thread and another thread, and that'll give you um that'll give you your, your calculation or your distance rather. Uh, that'll tell you the pitch, the exact pitch that you need for your um for your studs. Now um this is a traditional stud that comes with the motorized bicycle engine. Uh, I pulled one off of, you know an old that I had laying around, and the interesting thing about this is that um this stud actually has both. So if you look closely, um, hopefully you'll be able to see it um, the res with the resolution of this camera, but uh, one side of it is actually M8 by 1.25 1 1 uh, pitch, and the other side is um, the other variant, which is M8 by 1 millimeter pitch. Um, so when I pull this out of the engine, the, the 125 millimeter pitch side went into the, into the base of the engine, and it had um, uh, 1 millimeter studs. So l look out for this. Ultimately, when you're purchasing your um, M8 studs, you want to get the one that actually bolts into the engine, uh, the correct stud that bolts into the engine, because what will happen is if you get the correct ones, you're going to have some difficulty installing those studs, and you can end up stripping uh, stripping a stud off of the cylinder block, and that is a complete pain in the ass. You don't want to deal with that, um, because generally speaking, uh, you, you just want to avoid that. Um, so your, your best bet is to, um, is to use a caliper. And or, or some kind of you know maybe a fine ruler would be good uh, metric of course if you could if you could get one or you can even use inches and just convert it but uh, you just want to measure the distance between the, these two studs if it's over one millimeter then you automatically know that you, you're going to opt for the 1.25 millimeter pitch which is the M8 by times or yeah times 1.25 millimeter stud <clears throat> that's important and um, if you if you're trying to find maybe uh, the nuts the correct nuts to go with those you you know do the same thing. You'd measure distance between each and every one of these threads, and that should give you your uh, give you your answer. So again, guys, thanks for um, paying attention and watching this video. If you have any more uh, questions or comments, you know, definitely shoot us a message, post a comment, and we'll try to get back to you, um, you know, as quickly as as, as we're working. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Now, and as always, oh, I almost forgot this one. Get juiced. <laughs>